Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to learn how we can set rebars for a concrete column. As you can see, this is a concrete structure of a residential project and we are going to learn how we can set rebar for one of these columns. Let's start. First of all, we need to go to one of the floor plans and in here I'm going to work on this column here. I'm going to first create a section, detail section for this part to see my column better. And then I'm going to create another detail section in this part to see the section of this column. For sure, we at least need these two sections for starting and putting rebars in these columns. And I'm going to hide this. Okay. Before we go to 2D drawing and see all of those details, I need to explain some things in here. First of all, we need to set our rebar cover. In all of concrete structure, we need to set rebar covers. Simply, it's the gap between the face of your concrete, face of your comb, and your rebar. And if you want to set it, you just need to select your comb. And in this part, you can see this part here, all of these different rebar covers for different parts. If you open it, you can see that we have only one option in 25 millimeter. And in here, at least we need 50 millimeter for our rebar cover. And I'm going to show you how you can find it. So, if we want to create our own rebar cover, we need to go to structure and reinforcement. In here, you can find it setting. Open it and add another rebar cover. I'm going to change its name to calm rebar. And in this part, I'm going to set it size to 50 millimeter okay now if you select your column again and open this part you can see that rebar column in here select this for all of these three parts however you can see it in here if you select it and click on this rebar option here and hover your mouse over it you can see this dashed green line in here it's exactly in 50 millimeter and if you set a rebar in here, you can see that your rebar will be inside this rectangle. Another thing we need to do in here is that if you click on your rebar as we did and click on this part, you can see all of different shapes of rebars in here and you can use them easily for your structure. For example, let's select something like this and see how we can use it. If you hover your mouse with this in here, you can see its placement on your comp. But there are three different options for its placement. If you select this one and click on here, you can see your rebar right now in this view. But if you click on this part or this part, your rebar will be created on near cover reference or far cover reference. And it depends on the placement of your rebar. And also, if you select this parallel to work plan, you will have something like this. But if you change it to parallel to cover, you can have it in this part parallel to this cover. Or if you move it to other parts, you can see that your rebar shape will change and its placement will be changed. We have also this option which is perpendicular to cover which is kind of similar to this one. For me using these two options works best because I rather see my rebar and change its position later. Okay let's move on to our 2D drawing. This is our comb that we are going to work on and as you can see we have different parts in here. We have F section, we have K section, O and Q section and each part have so many details in it. For a start I'm going to go to finding all of those sections and I'm going to copy it near my comb section. As you can see our comb in this part is 50 by 50 and this part is 5 cm here is its rebar cover and it's a fixed number for all of columns in this project. After that we have these different types of rebars here. We have these stirrup, we have these stretch bars and also we have these lateral ties here. I'm going to start with this stirrup here. You can see some details in here about this. 
This stirrup has 10 mm diameter and the distance between them should be again 10 mm. And we have 11 number of them in this area, exactly from this point to here. If we want to have one of them in this part, we need to select our column and in this toolbar part, we need to select this stirrup or any other shape that is like this and we're going to set one of them in here. For its diameter, you can select it and in this part, you can change its size. We are going to use this 10 because it's 10 in here, this second number. If you zoom in, you can see their fillets in here but in this part it's not like that this is called hook in rebars and it's basically some fillets of rebars in here we don't have those like 135 degrees fillets so if you want to have one of them select your rebar and in here change it from 90 degree to 135 degrees like this and do this for this end hook rotation too. For changing its size, you need to select it and go to its edit type. In here, if you go to hook lengths, you can see all of different numbers for different types of hooks. And if you want to change, for example, this one or this one that is our hook in here, you can change these numbers. For example, I'm going to change this one to 100. If you want to change the fillet or the bend in this part, you can change it from here. I'm going to change this one to like, let's say 30. And as you can see, it become like smaller. If you want to change the color or the material of this part, you can change it from here. I'm going to assign another material for it just to have a better color on it. Let's move on to these lateral ties. If you want to create one of these, again, you just need to select your comb and go to this rebar. You can find a shape like that simply in. I'm going to select this one and put it in here. Make it a little bit smaller, something like this. And for changing its fillet in these parts, I'm going to go to its edit type. And in here, I'm going to change this to, let's say, 25 millimeter. I'm going to assign another material for it with another color to see it better. We need to use again 10 millimeter diameter for it and you can just simply change it from this part. You can select one of these parts. But if I select this 10 millimeter diameter, its color will change. So we're going to continue with this one. If we want to create something like this, we need to change the hook in this part. So select your hook and change its hook to 135. We selected the wrong rebar shape, so I'm going to change it real quick to this one. And let me first change it to something like this. And okay. Now, since this is a different shape of rebar, I changed the fillet in this part with this option in here. And for its length, I use this a option here but for changing the hook in this part you need to go to this hook at the start and change it to 135 degrees like this and again for controlling the length in this part we need to go to this edit type and change the hook length to whatever you want for now let's go with 90 millimeter after we set these three bars here, we can set its location. But if you want to copy it, you just need to select it and simply copy it on itself or copy it to this part. And then with hitting a space a few times, you can kind of mirror it to the other side. Or if you want to create one for this part, you can select it and rotate it 90 degrees with copy active like this. Now move it to this part and to here. And we also have another one here. For making these parts right, I mean this is not real, uh, you need to go to another section in here and move these lateral ties a little bit up and down. Before we copy them along this column, I need to also create these parts here just to have the right position for these 
lateral ties too so as we can see here this is a 25 diameter rebar and we're going to create it from this point to here for setting it we need to select this column again and in rebar we are going to select this first rebar here if you hover your mouse over your column you can see this part but we need another placement for this so i'm going to change its placement to perpendicular and now you can simply put it in here select it again and in this part select this 25 diameter rebar for it and now we need to set it in this view it's a 6.5 meter rebar and if you want to set it exactly on this number you need to scroll down to here and change its size directly from here i'm going to select it and change its color real quick to something like this and now as you can see our rebar starts from this point it means that we need to move it to this foundation for this we need to create a line in here because this rebar ends in here and from this part to here we have 145 centimeters so we can use this for setting our rebar i'm going to change its dimension from this part to here and if i import 145 to this part we have the exact dimension in here so if we move this exactly from this point to here we will have the right length for our rebar for its fillet in its end we need to create a 90 degree hook and if you can't see it just hit a space there we go if you select your rebar and scroll down a little bit you can see its bar length it's a little bit more than this for this we need to move this up to the point that is closer to this number now if you select it and go to the other section you can see that we have only one of these rebars here but we need six of them so for copying it you need to go to this rebar set here and change it from single to fixed number and change its quantity to six as we have in this part now select it and mirror it to the other side like this copy it again to this center and mirror it with this copy uncheck 90 degrees for this side we need only four rebar so i'm going to change its quantity to four and move it to this side for the last time rotate it to the other side and now you can set these ties to their exact place perfect our column is now complete for copying them in this part we have different parts in here first we have 110 centimeter in this foundation and after that we have 55 centimeter in here so first i'm going to copy one of these sets to this foundation here and then if i change its rebar set from single to this time number with spacing i can enter these numbers here we have 11 of these sets and their distance between them is 100 millimeter so we have something like this in foundation part for the next part we need 55 centimeter in here so i'm going to do another line in here the 55 centimeter distance and i'm going to change this rebar set to number with spacing to six like this and i'm going to move it down to here for the next part which is a 180 centimeter i'm going to copy this line to here and change this distance now i'm going to select all of these and copy them to here as you can see in here we need nine of these sets so i'm going to increase this number and change this to 200 millimeter and simply move it down like this for the next part we are going to repeat this part so i'm going to use exactly this set and i'm going to copy it from here to here again exactly another one of these sets in this part but with a little bit more space between them so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to move it up a little bit 
For this part, I'm going to draw a line like this and I'm going to set it on 65 centimeter. I'm going to copy this to here and I'm going to increase it to 7 and move it down to its position. Uh, from now on, as you can see, we have this repeated in every part. But I'm going to repeat this one more time to show you this overlap here and how you can manage this easily. Copy this line to this part and change its dimension to 220. And copy this again from this line to here and make it a little bit more to 10 with 200 spacing. Perfect. Fortunately, this section with this section is the same, so we just have this little overlap. Copy one of these, for example, this one to the upper level and put it on this single layer. Change this hook because we don't need this hook and put it on none. Move it down with this align to this point. And if you select this, you can see it's length is 900 but we need only 600 of this so change this to that exact number and for creating this part here go to its edit sketch for this bend and overlap here you need to find the structure in your details in here it's one by six if i want to explain this to you simply it means that for one unit distance like this we need to go up six units and connect these two parts together so for this part i'm going to create a one by six one by six line and i'm going to connect them like this together we need to cut it from here and move this part exactly in the size of this diameter, this rebar to right. For this, I'm going to create a line in here and I'm going to move it to this part. Create a line exactly like this and delete this line. So for this distance, which is a 25 millimeter, we need to measure this line. So I'm going to copy this to here. You select this and with this scale option, I'm going to make it bigger like this. Delete this part and move it to here. Trim it with these two lines and move this line down to here. Now hit finish. You can either check its length from this part or you can set it from here. So if you create a line in this part with 145 centimeter distance with this level, you can find the exact place for this end. So I'm going to create another line in here with the same number and I'm going to move it like this. I'm going to create another detail section in this part and in here you can see our rebar so since it's in this corner we can rotate it a little bit for this i'm going to copy this to here because we need to rotate this one 90 degrees then i'm going to use this rotate option from exactly its center without copying it i'm going to mirror it to these corners too and then i'm going to mirror this one exactly from this part 90 degrees and i'm going to change its layout to fixed with numbers and i'm going to put it on four now i can move it to here and this part to here now i can mirror them and then copy them all together and if you go to 3d view you can see them perfectly like this this looks so cool and clean. And now I think you know how you can set rebars and use different kind of placement and different shape of them for your project. As you can see, the rest of this is just repeated with different numbers for different types. And when you reach this end, you can just simply 
hook it exactly like we did for this foundation part and finish your comb so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial